What's up everyone, Steve Cook here. I'm in Conquest Fitness with the all-star team here assembled. This is like, this is the Avengers. We have, introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Kurt, uh, IPV Pro from New Zealand. Hey guys, I'm Sean Stafford, WBFF Pro from London. All sorts of titles here. I am Nick Cheadle, not a pro, but I'm uh, from Sydney. Um, Dave Sinovai, uh, and this is my facility, Conquest Fitness. So he's doing a really good job here. Uh, th this gym, functional fitness at its best. Uh, Conquest Fitness is the name of it. Training guys for not only rugby, but also American football. So we actually know a lot of the same people. Um, I played with a lot of Polynesians in college, playing college football, I want to play in the pros. Knows a lot of them through, through the grapevine. Um, so today, we're going to be kind of getting to play around with some of the awesome equipment you guys got going on here. Got a lot of blokes in the gym flipping 200 pound tires. Is that what it is? 200 kg? Bigger. Yeah. More than that. I knew that. I was like, I'm getting weak because that thing felt heavy. So 450. 450. Yeah, it was no big deal. Flipped it right now. It was heavy as hell. But So we're going to go through a little, like almost like a, a training that you do for the athletes that are going to get ready for rugby and, and just whatever it is that you want to take us through and kind of put us through our paces. Sounds good. So how long, how long have you been doing it? Uh, so yeah, nine years now. We've been here since October. Okay. Um, and just kind of late. The doors have opened up in terms of the college football side. So now we're blessed to have some of the Div 1 colleges flying out next month to, to look at these boys. And get They're fly, out flying out here to it's Melbourne, Australia to look at a lot of the boys that you're training. Yeah. Which you you know of all is, is different, right? That is amazing. Yeah. yeah, that is that that just kind of shows you what kind of athletes are here in Australia, in the islands, you know, in Samoa, in Tonga, in New Zealand. So many uh, amazing athletes that have really only been able to play rugby in the last you know ten years, even a little bit before that. You, you'd start seeing a lot more in the college ranks, a lot more in the pro ranks. I have a feeling you're going to be seeing a lot more because of the likes of people like like him. So I'm excited. Thank you so much for having us here today. Ready to ready to get smashed, fellas? Oh yeah, bring it on. All right, let's do it. So once you've done swimming, you then go into an hamstring stretch, but don't hold the stretch. So keep going. So tap, tap and roll. Yep. Same thing. Each rep, try and get closer and closer to your chest. How many with the these ones? Uh, just ten more. Ten more. Can you So ten walking and then ten bounce in and out. exactly what he's doing. So we didn't do a lot of Olympic lifting or strongman work. You know, we did bench, squat, yeah, hang cleans, but it wasn't, um, it didn't prepare you for the game like like this stuff is. You know, you got ladder drills over there, the big fellas doing those. You got the yoke carry, and then the sleds, tire flip. It's almost like a, uh, again, it's, it's, it's more functional. You know, I did a lot of bicep curls in high school. More than, more than I, I care to admit, but you know, you gotta train the arms too. You gotta, you gotta look good and play good. I'm a firm believer in that. But. There you go. There you go. So when we go, don't drive up. Drive. Ah. Blood sport. So you're instead of coming up, you're saying coming forward. Through. Yeah, just just like a tackle, right? We're going through the tackle. I like that. That's some functional training right there. Yeah, there you go. See the difference? Straight away. Got it. That right there is probably 
is the single most important factor. If you're an outside linebacker, I'm sure if you're in rugby, that posterior chain firing through with the hips. Guys that are, that are, are fluid and have good hip mobility, I'll tell you what, that was what I lacked. I needed to be doing more Come of this. On. Come on, Seth. Get that. Go through. You know, athletic stance is pretty much in anything. And then you're able to come through and make a tackle, and it's all, tackling's all in the hip. It's the same as rugby. Yeah, is it? Yeah, so I know. we're making the tackle here, 24-7. Gotcha. In Union, they've got a stand ball, so we're in this position. Yeah, you gotta get comfortable in that one. Especially in the line. As you walk. See, see how it moves? So you want to brace yourself? <laughs> He'll be playing on Sunday. <laughs> I haven't done these in a while. It's been a minute for that. It's been a minute for that. Just like a back pedal, like a cornerback. I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. So we're, we're talking a little bit about how these types of movements, you know, we're, we're training some strongman type stuff, tire flips, the yoke pull, or the, sorry, the yoke walk. It's an Olympic stuff. Yeah, too. yeah, the, the clean and press with the big, the big heavy, uh, what do you call that thing over there? Oh, the short log press. press. The log press, that's log what it was. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, when you do it, when you do just bodybuilding for so long, these movements become really forced and a lot harder. But learning how to do these properly, working like synergistically off each other, I think it makes actually for a better physique because everything learns to work and work with one another and everything just flows a lot better like you were saying. Yeah, it's one of those things that I think uh, you need to practice it to ensure that you get that sort of fluid motion rather than turning into a mechanical movement which is typically what bodybuilding is, totally. is all about rather than sort of using one or two muscles as you say it's all about using your entire body to try and, and Lower work back, seamlessly hips. together. Yeah. That's that coordination, this coordination like I've, I haven't done that ladder in about five years and it, it finally came back there at the end, but if you don't do something, you lose it. So if you just train bodybuilding constantly all along, you're gonna lose that functionality. Now, again, it's, it's about training how you like and doing what you want, but I definitely think there is a benefit from getting some of this training. Kurt just got off stage, so he's been doing a lot of bodybuilding. Yeah. How's this for him? It's completely different. Completely different. You know, it's muscles that I don't normally use at all. So it's, yeah, it's really good to get this stuff out. Put a sweat going on that guy. I do, I do. <laughs> it's a bit harder than the, just the cross trader in the morning. You know? so. yeah. And that's the thing, I, this is, this, this really, you could do some bodybuilding, like, like right now in my training, I do bodybuilding. And then instead of the normal cardio, I'd much rather come in and do five circuits of this, working posterior chain, working my traps. And again, it's, it's you know, you're, you can't train like this every day on top of weights. You're gonna tax that central nervous system too much. But two days a week, three days a week coming in and hitting this, and then maybe on the days that you train like this, lighting, lighting up your other workouts, your bodybuilding stuff, 
and doing like arms with it or shoulders. I definitely wouldn't be doing this and then a leg workout afterwards, but you know, training smarter, not harder always. It's the sort of thing too, I mean, it's, it's, it's far more demanding on your, yeah. on your body, on your central nervous system as well. On so. the joints, on everything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So as far as a workout goes, I mean, if you compare this to a, you know, burning the same amount of calories on a cross trainer or a treadmill, this is probably going to be far more beneficial yeah, both, exactly. you know, in the short and long term. And it'll be a lot shorter time in the gym. You're going to have to be on, on, on the stepper or on the treadmill walking on incline for a lot longer to burn the amount of calories you're going to burn. Not just during the workout, but throughout the rest of the day as well, that post-oxidative consumption after the workout. Yeah, absolutely. Far more efficient way to train if you're looking at uh, calories per, per minute, effectively. Let's go. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
push. One move. All you, all you, all you. Last one. Three, one, two. Good. Under, 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 under. Muscle ups here too. I don't know if I can see fast. We'll give it a go. Hey, that a boy. I've seen you make all sorts of faces on there. <laughs> You've seen them faces before. <laughs> You've seen them faces before. this video can I can't collect my thoughts my heart is racing I, I honestly it was, it was a crazy good workout you know if, if more of the high schools in the states took this guy's workouts and implemented them we'd have a lot better athletes going into college so how, how did you guys find it it's a killer killer I was worried about the Kiwi there for a minute <laughs> Steph, Steph pushing through with his shoulder I was proud of him and Nick killed it I was definitely and just getting done with the show too that's no easy feat to all of a sudden switch up your modality and really go from bodybuilding into the functional fitness so I can't say uh, thank you enough. Thank you that was amazing. Yeah, Definitely uh, the next time I'm in Melbourne, I might have to come in and get another workout this week because no AC in here. This <laughs> this right here, you, you can't fake training in here. You got eyes on you, you got people in here working their, their ass off. To respect everyone else, you gotta give it your all too. So thank you so much, Conquest here in Melbourne. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of these guys in the States playing uh, Gridiron on Sunday.